Welcome back to another exciting episode of Southern Sorcery. Yeah, we have a very, very exciting episode of the Crackdown, and we're cracking into a mystery booster box. It's the Condition Edition, so that means there's going to be the awesome playtest cards with some awesome artwork. Um, no foils. That is from the OG mystery booster boxes, but what we're going to get instead is those awesome playtest cards that have the funny artwork on them. Um, some of those are pretty cool, exciting stuff. What we're really after today is a Mana Crypt. That's just the end-all be-all with these boxes. Uh, a lot of other good stuff, but the Crypt is the creme de la creme. Uh, we have four people entering today's uh, special bo box break, uh, so without further ado... Let's just get into it. This box came out uh, 2021 is when that bad boy came out. Yeah, so, gosh, three years ago already? 2021 was three years ago? That's hard to believe. Makes my makes my head hurt, but, you know, we're rolling with it. Um, it's been a minute since we've done an OG box break on channel. Uh, we've done a lot of stuff on Twitch. If you haven't checked us out on Twitch, I highly recommend it. We've been streaming like uh all kinds of awesome games with some really cool guests i would go back and check the recordings out we've also got those on youtube so we're streaming on both youtube and twitch um patreon's blowing up our youtube's blowing up our twitch is blowing up and so i just want to say to all of you thank you so much that's a heart because that's the love that uh, i'm sending your way it's just been amazing uh but we're gonna throw it back to our roots today this is how we started we were just box breaks that's how we got into it, so we're going back to it today. Oh my god! The dead has risen! Like I said, we got four people. Matt in for seven packs is up first. I didn't set a limit on these, so they went pretty quick once people figured out they could get as many as they wanted. So we're gonna go one, two, three, oh, five, six, seven. That's exact seas. I grabbed it, it feels good. It's just like hitting the gas on the on the number when you're trying to pump gas so let's just dive into it we've got survive the night core hookmaster a wish going crab divination a stinkweed imp a dread drone quakefoot cyclops mutiny mantle the webs pelica worm terminate a dismal backwater an umbral manta this is interesting this is a card that you can uh untap things with a uh, quick creature has three untap this creature gets plus two plus two until the turn and then that little symbol you see there is the untap symbol equip zero this uh, goes infinite with a lot of crazy cards holy shnikes and then sort of the aminus with our swarm of the locusts playtest card so our rare is sort of the aminus this is a good card for anybody that runs uh, lots of lands wants to see landfall triggers whenever landfall triggers <laughs> whenever a quick creature attacks you may search your library for a basic land card Put it onto the Battlefields app, then shuffle your library. It's great. Uh, good pull, Mr. Matt. Let's move on to the second pack. I won't spend a ton of time on the uh, commons and uncommons. We will look at them here at the first few packs and then probably just fly through them so we can get through this video at a fairly decent pace. But I hope everyone's doing well. Sit back, relax, and enjoy some box openings today. We've got Sanctum Gargoyle, Apostle's Blessing, Call to Heal, Spire Monitor. Another cool thing they did was white, white, blue, blue, black, black. See how they did the colors. I like it. Uh, Infernal Scarring, Absorb Vis, Canyon Lurkers. They be lurking. Orcish Cannonade, a Nettle Sentinel, Holla at the Elves, a Ferocious Zang, a Tatiova, Benthic Druid, a Ghost Quarter, a Crenellated Wall. Man, I love some walls. Target creature gets plus O, four, plus, o plus 4 until the turn. Holla. And a Chasm Skulker with a Lovac the Apparent, a big legendary mutant. Look at those playtest cards. They're so fun. All right, so we'll just set the rares to this side and drop everything else here for now. Yeah, rolling along. Um, these are super fun to draft. If you have not had a chance to draft these, the product's not terribly expensive, so you're, you're still in luck. You can still get some boxes for around like 140 to 160 Essence Scatter Doom to enter. And, and just grab one, go to your, your, your play group, and, and just have some real... F just, just, just enjoy it. It's like a chaos draft because there's so many sets. They call them mystery boosters because they come from different sets. If you look at all these different cards, they're reprinted from different sets all across Magic. Um, well, that's funny. It's back to back same set. What was that Return to Ravnica? I think or no, Guilds of Ravnica it says it on the card. M19. Uh, that's Amonkhet or Hour of Devastation. One of the two. There's a Commander set. Uh, War of the Spark. 
uh, M25 or Masters. Uh, there's another Master set, another Commander set. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, that, that's essentially like what you'd be drafting. It's just it's just wild how it goes through there. Oh, nice. There's a Mythic Throne, the last troll. What a good hit. And back to back, we got a Night Howler as well. Nice. Two rares and one. And then these are the playtest cards. So when you're drafting, you actually get to use these in the sealed events that we would go to. Um, so if you do this for your, with your play group at home at the kitchen table, you get to use these cool wonky cards and play test with them. Let wizards know, like, hey, that's a good card. You should make that a reality. And they might write back and say, hey, thanks for your opinion, but no thanks. If they do that, you know, life and lemons and lemonade, all that jazz, right? Uh, Court Street Denizen Path to Peace, a nagging thoughts. A Yargle, nice big 9-3, generic, just flavorless, you know, just love the Yargle. Uh, quest for the Grave Lord, we're just going to fly through these now. Explosive Vegetation, there's a lot to go through if we went through every one of these cards. Bounding Krasis, Archangel, into a Tireless Tracker, nice, a very good card. Another um, another good, like, landfall type deck, because it says whenever land nears the battlefield under your control, you get to investigate, which is fun. And then the playtest card was a good thing. It's like the smile chart, like it just kind of goes from bad to, to good. Good things to come, right? So, come on, let's pull a crit. Let's pull something just bonkers. The last box open really wasn't like a, a, a crazy, you know, good financial box. A lot of good hits, but we're after some money. Let's see a crypt. I just want to see a crypt. Groundswell, Naya Charm, Ashon's Altar, Oracle of Nectars, Temple of the Discovery, interesting, and a Wizened Arbiter. So you got two rares again. Oracle of Nectars is you can pay X, tap it to you gain X life, which is pretty cool. And then Temple of Discovery, Tempting Offer, search your library for a land card, put it on the battlefield. Each opponent may search his or her library for a land card, put it on the battlefield for each opponent who does. You get to do it again. So it's like, hey, I've got a tempting offer for you. I know it sounds pretty good. And then each person who takes that offer, you get to benefit from it yet again and get more lands. So uh, it usually works out pretty well because even though people know you're abusing it and getting even more lands, they, they want the lands too. So those tempting offers tend to be pretty pretty good. Another wall, Reckless Imp, a Hired Blade, Miner's Bane. Could you imagine mining in a cave and running across that? Like, oh yeah, that sucks. A Tuck a Tongue Thalid. Uh, the fungus is among us and it kind of looks like a deer, crab, boar fungus. Yeah. Be kind to your mushrooms and they'll be kind to you. Belligerent Brontodon, Call of the Scions, Chatter of the Squirrels, and oh man, I saw the artifact. I almost got to say. Cauldron of Souls. Interesting card. Tap to choose any number of target creatures. Each of those creature gains persist till in a turn. Uh, so that means when it dies, if it had no negative one, negative one counters on it, returns to the battlefield under its owner's control with a negative one, negative one counter on it. Really cool card. Can be super abusive, and this is one of the better playtest cards. The Sliv Drazi Monstrosity. This one might be worth a couple bucks, actually. I'll have to look it up and see. I'm going to set it aside in the rare pile with your Cauldron of Souls. And then I do want to point out this card. This card is from Odyssey. Little set symbol there. And uh, this little mechanic, it, it means it's like it got a graveyard thing. It's called Flashback. So just to remind you that it has it, they put a little tombstone on top of there. And I thought that was such a cool way of doing things. And I wish they would bring that back more often. Because I think it just made sense. Because it's like, hey, don't forget, this card can come out of the graveyard. Because a lot of times it's easy to forget if you're not paying attention. So... There's my two cents. Take that. What with what with what about bow? High tide Kermit, claustrophobia, murderous compulsion, land war empath, pouncing cheetah, about to get something. A prophetic prism, a vanishing sand stalker, into a champion of the parish. When another another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on champion of parish. And a generated horizon. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a forest land token. Cool. You're just making forests with this card. How fun is that? Nice, Matt. I think overall you did pretty good. Got some mythics. Got a lot of double rare packs. I don't know values off the top of my head because this set is just kind of everywhere. Obviously, they'll be on the screen for anything that you hit that's worth some money, money. So uh, thank you again for stepping into this box break, and we will see you soon, my friend. Next up after that, we've got Blue Man Jam. We got one, two, three packs for you, my friend. Good luck to you. Um, this one's kind of almost like inverted. Oh, it's just bent. Okay. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe this is the one that's got the crypt in it. They handpicked it for the crypt. Let's find out. I think we're we're gonna find one. I promise. Lotus size mystics. A rootborn defenses. Uncomfortable chill. Corpse hatch. Scarab feast. Gutter snipe. Great card. Can go infinite with a lot of things and kill a lot of people. Prey upon. Abundant growth. High spire mantis. Just a gigantic praying mantis on top of a mountain, waiting to get you. Skull clamp. Iconic card worth a couple bucks, I think. 
Sapphire Charm. I love that artwork, uh, especially on the blue frame. The old blue frame is so good. And then a flip, Fibble, Fibble Thip the Lost from War of the Spark. What a fun card. And then Enchantment Ties. Interesting mechanic there. Not sure about that playtest card. Enchant Creature Enchantment. Enchanted Permanent is an enchantment. Loses all the card types. Nice. I like it, so it's like an enchantment to enchantment ties. Okay, I got you. I'm with you now. But just, just one last time, look at that beautiful artwork on that. That is just gorgeous. Cool. All right, next pack. Let's, let's pull something good at him. So uh, we've yet to see anything that's just like absolutely bonkers. So let's see it. Let's let's get a crypt. That's what I'm after. If you can't tell, uh, we'll just go through these ravenous chupacabra, curse of opulence. Nice. That's worth a couple bucks. Log Fanatic, Glade Watcher, Long Shot Squad, Wooly Thokter, Thrandonimo, Classic Car, Chancellor of the Annex. This is a, a very scary looking angel, right? Just terrifying. Uh, you may reveal this card from your opening hand. If you do, when each opponent casts his or her first spell of the game, counter that spell unless that player plays one. Interesting, like, stacks piece. Flying whenever an opponent casts a spell, counter it unless that player plays one. Interesting. So if you have it at the beginning, you can play it, and then Grasp of Fate uh, from Commander. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, exile up to one target and all land permanent that player controls until Grasp of Fate leaves the battlefield. Seems good for a Commander game. Frogkin Kidnapper. Frog Rogue. Okay, he's got a, all these people kidnapped. That little frog's doing his best at kidnapping folks. But yeah, double rare pack is always nice to see. Very nice. Last pack for Adam. Let's go out on a banger here. Open it, open it, open it. We got some, uh, we got a dwarf here, a ninth bridge patrol, caller the culprit, ba -da -ba -ba, walking corpse, an ancient brontodon, commune with nature, a raff, ornithopter, uh, not of paradise, but just a regular ornithopter, but it's a zero drop for an O2 that can fly. It's got unlimited possibilities into a bear cub. And a whelming, whelming wave. Return all creatures to their owner's hands except for krakens, leviathans, octopuses, and serpents. Uh, it's like the poor man's uh, psych rift, right? Yeah, so it's for four mana. Return all creatures. And if you're running stuff that's like krakens, leviathans, octopuses, and serpents, or changelings, um, this is a pretty good little card. Yeah, nice. Nice little hit there. It's a, it's a good rule piece. All right, Adam. Um, like I said, anything valuable we'll have on screen for you there. I think overall you did pretty good. Hit a couple good little sneaky, like... Um, commons and uncommons as well so these will be coming your way thank you sir for jumping in next up we've got the newest patron new patron alert we've got justin in for 10 packs justin is our first patron of the planeswalker tier uh, what that means is it's going to be some exciting giveaways and just stay tuned that's all i can say it's going to be awesome i want you all to see it so we'll probably do these videos where we're going to have specific giveaways for that uh, patreon level so if you're interested hop in it 20 bucks a month gets you all kinds of really good goodies and some really cool special unique giveaways that are just automatically a part of that tier so uh almost will anything uh just be on the lookout for that it's gonna be really fun but my man justin he got 10 packs he said i want half this box and uh half this box he shall have all right 10 packs for justin let's just dive in i mean if there's a crypt in this box the chances of it being in these 10 packs is pretty high so i'm feeling pretty good about it so justin good luck buddy uh, oh, you can see the the cut line on that card really well. Let's see if I can. Yeah, you see it in the glare there, like right down the middle. Hyena Umbra, a Palace Sentinels Trinket Mage is a good card. Uh, Ir Iron Roar Expedition, a Grave Purge, Avarax, Strength in Numbers, a Terrain Elemental, a Quasali Pride Mage, Fairy Conclave into a hey, nice a Soren Markov. This is a really good uh, Planeswalker, one of the OGs from Zendikar, and a Goblin Charbelcher. Uh, what makes Soren so filthy, though, is that you can, you know, you play him for six mana, which is not cheap. Comes out with four loyalty, which you can immediately negative three him and take him into one loyalty. Target opponent's life total becomes ten. Absolutely degenerate disgusting. In Commander, you start with 40 life. So for six mana, you can just basically say, you know what, 30 damage to you, my friend. Ouch. I've had it happen to me, and I've done it to people. It feels good and bad both sides of that coin uh but yeah good hit it's a mythic um and then your taiga stadium nice you can uh, uh card name which is referring to taiga stadium enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a white blue or black permanent add red or black so it, like it plays on other colors i like i like this concept it's pretty fun um nice we'll set these others to the side but yeah soren's a good hit very playable card 
very nasty card can really make someone's day turn turn dark real quick when their life total just becomes 10 after being at 40 or whatever the case may be. Wrench Mine, that looks terribly painful. A Barrage of Boulders, that's probably what happened. You get Barrage of Boulders and your face looks like that. The Blades of Villas Veil, vale. I was actually talking about this in the uh, pre-con for the Eldrazi's because it's a Changeling uh, tribal instance. Yeah, pretty cool. You have a Maya Shepherd, a Feral Crushrock. It's a 5-4 flavorless generic beast. Yeah, cool. Uh, Miss Meadow Witch, Temple of the False God, Eater of Days. This card is very interesting. It's a 4-drop. It's a artifact creature of the with Flying and Trample. When Eater of Days comes into play, you skip your next two turns. Wowzers. But it is a 9-8 with Flying and Trample, so I mean, if you can abuse it somehow, why not? Mizzix's Mastery, great card. Uh, I love this card because it has a really cool overload cost. Exile target card that's an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. For each card exiled this way, copy it, and you may cast the copy without paying its mana cost. Exile Mizzix's Mastery. Or you can overload it, and you may cast the spell for its overload cost if you do change the text by replacing all instances of target with each. So then it becomes exile each card that's an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. For each card exile this way, copy it, you may pay, cast the copy. So it's like you have all this stuff uh, you know, loaded up in your graveyard, play this with its overload cost, which means you're paying the the overload, like uh, that, set, that that cost down there. Holy smokes, it's it's crazy. And then we got a buried, a buried ogre, zombie ogre. You may begin the game with the buried ogre in your graveyard. If you do, you lose one life. That's cool. Put in the grave. That, that, that's a cool concept. Like some of these mechanics, I could truly see them like becoming viable. I know that's kind of silly, but like, I don't know. I, that's, that's interesting. Also, Eater of the Days. Eater of Days. Anybody anybody run that card? And all of its, you know, you could ch maybe you could cheat it to somebody. It comes into play. You skip your next. Maybe a, a really cool way if you could, like, give that to somebody and they would skip their next two turns. It would be terrible, but it would also be, be funny. A dual shot, a bitter blade warrior, Esper charm, a burnished heart, a violent ultimatum, destroy three target permanents. So anything on the battlefield for two black, three red, two green. And a Nissa, nice, another planeswalker, just on that planeswalker train. Nissa voice was in the car for a one and two green, and she comes in with three loyalties. You can plus one her to put a zero one grant a green plant creature token on the battlefield. Neg two, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, which is nice. And then minus seven, you gain X life and draw X cards where X is the number of lands you control. Pretty cool. I like it. I like it. And then you got Sliv Mizzet, the hive mind. It's a dragon sliver, like I play on uh, Niv Mizzet, so I, I dig it. Yeah. <laughs> Even the flavor text is like Niv Mizzet, you know, with the, uh, does it say Sliv? I guess it does spell out Sliv Mizzet. Yeah, sure does, with the flavor text down here. <laughs> Pretty fun. Pretty fun. Uh, that the rare, yeah, the ultimatums, yeah. So that's a bunch of packs in a row with double rares. All right, cool. So we got some Planeswalkers, we got some Mythics, we got some decent rares. Now, let's get to the Crypt. The Crypt is what we're after. Give the people what they want, Box. We want to see a Crypt. Come on with it. Flash Freeze. Preordain. Flash Freeze happens. You gotta put trash bags over your tomatoes. I know that much. Shout out to my dad for letting me know about keeping those tomatoes safe during a freeze. Hypnotic Spectre. Old hippie. Been around since Alpha. Uh, flying. Whenever it does damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. And a Desolation Twin. Nice! These could have gone up now since whenever you cast it, you get... And Eldrazi are huge right now. I'll have to check. I don't know prices off the top of my head. That one's now slightly damaged since I threw it on the playmat. Just kidding. It's in fine condition. Uh, we'll put that with the hippie. And that's a domesticated mammoth. Just sitting on its little its little bed. What a what a great pet to have. A domesticated mammoth. Um, nice. Alright, cool. So let's just keep moving. Interesting cards to, that we've pulled so far. Uh, and each box, is, box has been kind of different too based upon like what's been in it just overall. Wooly Loxodon, Ar 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 Arachnus Web. There's another Eldrazi, Artisan of Calls. Like, I know it's not worth telling because it's, a, it's a, a uncommon, but a 10 9 with Annihilator 2. Uh, and then whenever you cast a spell, you may return a target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Really nasty. Uh, Ancient Ziggurat into a Krinko. Nice. Krinko and Squid Napper. Squid Pirate. Look at his like, mustache. Ha <laughs> um, ha Sometimes it's worth it just for some of those. Uh, Interesting playtest cards, you know, but again, no, stay focused. We're after a mana crypt. We don't care about the cute and cuddly squid with eyebrows and a mustache. We want a mana crypt. Holla at it. 
Oh man, look at the, the roller just got a ton of these. You can see it in the glare where it got the cards. Interesting. Is it on? No, it's just on this front one, so I guess. Uh, Wonder in Death, Jai, or Grant, uh, Grand, Granatic Titan, interesting word. Siege Worm, Aggressive Verge, Prophetic Bolt, which is a rare, in a weird spot. Put that there, Crystal Ball into a War Gate, and an Evra, Halosian Witness. Lifelink, exchange your life total with Evra with her power. Interesting mechanic. Probably not great for me Commander, but I guess if you're getting ready to die, you can tap or pay that for and, you know. Plus, she's got lifelink. It's just an interesting card, I guess. Yeah, and then Wargate. Search your library for a permanent card with converted mana cost X or less. Put it into play, then shuffle your library. So it's like a tutor with an X cost. But it is a green, white, and blue plus X to cast. Put these over here. That pack had three rares in it. I'm not impressed with e either of them. But... Or any of them, I should say. One, because they're not a mana crypt. Two, because, I don't know, they're just not bombs. I want bombs. See, there it is again. The roller. Got it, too. See it right down the middle. Steam Slipstream Eel. Exclude. A Festa Creep. A Teamer Battle Rage. Wild Mongrel. Broken Bond. Riptide Crab. Tectonic Edge. Perforos! Let's go! It's a big hit. Nice, and I love Perforos. We're actually on a Perforos mat right now, so it's like the play mat that I'm playing on is this card. It's like Destiny. Nice. And then the Pain Artist and an Abian Luvian Observer. It's a Legendary Planeswalker Abian. So it's a playtest card Planeswalker. How fun is that? But then Perforos and then the Pain Artist, both pretty good hits, especially the Perf. It's a Mythic. Man, what a great hit. I love some Perforos too. It's one of my favorite cards in the game. One of my favorite commander decks that I, I've ever built. I've had it for years. Ever since that Theros block came out I've, I've made I had that card for that deck made. Just, I've always had it. Uh, Price of Progress, Cathartic Reunion, Gift of Growth, Perilous Mirror, Wild Noctil, into a Living Death. Nice. It's a fun card. Uh, each player exiles all creature cards from his or her graveyard then sacrifices all creature here's your controls. Then puts all cards here, so you exile this way onto the battlefield. So it's a nice little swap from your from your field, what's in play, with what's in your graveyard. So it can definitely pay off in a lot of specific decks that want to load the graveyard up and then have a nice payoff. Or just want to wipe stuff out and, you know, maybe start over with whatever's in your yard. Either way, it's a pretty cool card. There it is again, right? It's been pretty consistent. That roller right down the middle, it's kind of faint on this card, but it's it's there. Uh, charge! Uh, da, 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 da. Revive, Thrashing Bronodon, Breaker of Armies, another Eldrazi, Shroud Lore, and the cool Planar Chaos like frame. All Hemorrhets Archive, another nice mythic. So we're not hitting um, <laughs> personal decoy. Look at the duck with the uh, Planeswalker symbol on it. I love that. Uh, not hitting a ton, or I'm sorry, we're not hitting a ton of mana crypts, but we are hitting a lot of good mythics. Justin, I think you're doing pretty well. Uh, if you would gain life, you gain twice how much life instead. If you would draw a card except for the first one you draw on each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Really good card. Five mana artifact. Uh, can be very abusive in specific de decks in Commander. So uh, overall, yeah, and that's for Magic Origins as well. Really good card. All right, last pack, Justin. This is your tenth and final pack. If the Crypt's going to be in your stuff, it's got to be here, right? If not, these last four packs hopefully have a guaranteed ticket to Mana Crypt Land. We shall see. Ancest Ancestral Mask, Alpine Grizzly, Belfull Strix gets a lot of play. Bowmat, Bazaar Barge. Oh, man. Dolman Gate. Dolman Gate's a good card, too, though. Very playable. Uh, for four mana, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to attacking creatures you control. So if you're looking for attack triggers, that's the way to go. We got Soulmates here with this turtle and chinchilla just hanging out having the times that they're alive and then we've got an Audric Lunark Marshall uh, a lot of cool things he gets like uh, alphabet soup for your creatures and then that Dolman Gates in great shape too that's a good card I think it's worth a couple bucks too so Justin no crypt however I am pretty confident in saying you pulled some good stuff that Soren that Perforos Perforos all hammer its archive Dolman Gate all really good cards all have some value and very playable too. A lot of Eldrazi you pulled as well, the the, uh, uh, the twin, the Desolation twin, uh, a lot of good stuff. But let us move on to our final contestant. We've got BZ Archer. Just played a commander game with them. They decided to bash my head in with uh, some Oko type stuff. Broko turned some stuff into Elks and I got killed. My snow covered deck just couldn't hang. 
but I did I gave it my best all right so let's reward BZ Archer for winning that game if there's gonna be a crypt in this box it's gonna be in these last four packs um, I'm not losing faith I'm, I'm still holding out strong Savannah Lions my favorite cards ever such a simplistic card for a one drop for two one but I will always draft it in any set that I'm playing in uh, we got an Arbor Armament, a Hardy Veteran, Cures Follower. Man, I saw that monster. I was like, Ooh, is that a Mana Crypt creeping out? A Toxin Sliver. Nice from Legions. Uh, three and a Black Mana. Whenever a Sliver deals combat damage to a creature, destroy that creature. It can't be regenerated. That's pretty good. Slivers are always good. And then the Marari Conjecture from Dominaria. Very cool. And then Q of Beetles. Q the Beetles. All right, uh, yeah, pretty decent. Uh, I like these packs that have two rares. I don't know if that sliver's worth anything. I have to look. Like I said, I don't know values off the top of my head because there's just so many cards to keep track of in this set, but I feel like a sliver has to be worth money because it's a sliver. Oh, nice. Look at there. Demonic Tutor in the uncommon slot. Oh, baby. Uh, I forgot about that being in the uncommon slot, so obviously the best uncommon you can hit in the entire set is the Demonic Tutor, the DT. Very good hit. Heck to the yeah. Sweet, that's a great card. It's like uh, it's gotta be like what twenty bucks or so, if not more. Uh, Azuri's Archer, Shardless Agent. Man, that's a good card. Knight of the Dawn into a hey, a Planeswalker, Liliana of Death's Majesty, from um, and Kit. Yeah, I think so. Uh, create two, create a two-two black zombie creature token. Put the top two cards of your library into a graveyard. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Or minus seven to destroy all non-zombie creatures. So if you had a zombie deck, uh, this is a great planeswalker for it. For every ability she has, does something with zombies. And then seek Bolus's counsel. <laughs> I love that. Just a guy on the phone talking to old Nickel Bolus, just on the landline. Hey man, you got any uh, advice you can give me? I really appreciate it. Yeah, nice. So there's a mythic and that demonic tutor. That is by far and away one of the best hits that we've had today. Yeah. I just totally forgot it was in the uncommon slot, so something fun. Yeah, nice. So, I, you know, if we're not going to hit a crypt, DTs at un in an uncommon slot uh, make for a, a great day. A great day indeed. So I guess a good thing I wasn't, like, flying through these at all. Man, this one's really got the the roller pin action. Yeah, look at that crease there. It's wild. Uh, Vapor Snag, Scrounger of Souls, Will the Wisp, a Enthralling Victor, Frontier Mastodon, Return to the Earth. Aroas Champion scored Barons and Ancient Den into a Boros Reckoner, a Minotaur Wizard. What a concept that is. And then a Vazel the Complete, a Phyrexian. It's just killing these other stick figure type people. That's, you know, what Phyrexians do best, right? Alright, set these aside. Alright, we've got our last pack. Easy, this is the fourth and final pack for you. And this is the final pack overall for the box. So if we're going to have a crypt... Statistics do show if, if we do have one, it's going to be in this pack. I think my math checks out. Um, all right. Thank you again to everybody that, that uh, wanted to uh, get in on this. Uh, this box is fun to open. Like I said, all the you've just seen firsthand all the crazy stuff you can pull. So a fog, one of the most underplayed but sneaky cards. I won't say it's underplayed. You, you, you see a lot, but gosh, you just don't ever see it coming, and it hurts when it hits. Uh, for one man, it's an instant. You can play at any time. Prevent all combat damage to be dealt this turn. It's just just can swing games it's wild vengeful rebirth a thornwood falls and aurora shards nice so bc hitting really good uncommons aurora shards used to be worth a ton of money uh, i think they've reprinted it or something maybe I, I think it's still worth a couple bucks and just very playable whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control you may destroy target artifact or enchantment run this in a token deck and you can just blast the board wide open and a will of fate uh, to end it out this is a, basically the same thing as a will of fortune except it has a suspend for one in a red suspend four it means it has four time counters on it uh, at the beginning of your upkeep you remove them and when the final last one goes off you get to cast a spell for free uh, and each player discards his or her hand then draws seven cards so a suspended will of fortune and then a bear with sets mechanic uh, it's a bear riding a horse with a bear ghost in the background a lightning storm and a confused fish jumping out of the water there's a lot going on here I like it um, yeah, Will of Fate will sit there, and Aurora Shards is good as well. Uh, no Mana Crypt yet again. What a bummer. Um, uh, you just got to keep digging, I guess, right? These Mystery Boosters, they have them. I've seen them get pulled. I was there when JP pulled one at a, a Star City Games uh, convention in a draft. Uh, so you go 0-4 in that draft and still feel like you won everything when you pull a Mana Crypt, right? 
Uh, but thank you again to everyone who participated. If you would like to get in these box breaks, we do them, you know, pretty often, at least two a month. Um, and, you know, great deals, deals you won't find anywhere else. We really give our patrons the hookup. Come on! Oh, I, I, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Justin again for becoming a patron, especially that Planeswalker level means the world. Go check us out. Like, subscribe. Uh, watch some of these videos we've been doing. We've done a ton of deck tech, especially for the new Modern Horizon 3 Commanders. Uh, go check those out. Thanks again. Love y'all. Mean it. Make go, go make good decisions. Stay out of trouble. Or get in trouble. Not a lot of trouble. Just a little trouble. But thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!